Submission is a new submachine gun added to Destiny 2 as part of the Vow of the Disciple raid in the Witch Queen expansion. This one has to be one of the best kinetic weapons in the game right now, and it's well worth running through that raid to get your hands on it. Well today I'm going to have a closer look at Submission, the perks and the stats, the god rolls to chase for PvE and PvP, plus how to get Submission in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, Submission is a legendary kinetic submachine gun and it's got a lightweight frame, meaning the weapon has superb handling and you move faster with the weapon equipped. Looking at the stats, we've got 15 for impact, 36 for range, 50 for stability, 73 for handling, 36 for reload speed. It's a 900 rounds per minute submachine gun with 37 in the magazine. So given this one is a 900 RPM submachine gun, this is going to be a very popular submachine gun in Destiny 2. Submission is comparable to Funnel Web, another great weapon added to the game as part of the Witch Queen expansion. Submission, though, has the advantage of rolling some of the best perks in the game at the moment, and it's going to be another factor in adding to its overall popularity. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Submission God Roll Guide. So for PvP, Corkscrew Rifling, Acarized Rounds, Overflow, and Frenzy would be a decent roll. So with Corkscrew Rifling, you get slightly increased range, stability, and handling speed. And Acarized Rounds, you get slightly increased range. So range is always good on a submachine gun in PvP. Then we got Overflow, so picking up a special heavy ammo brick automatically loads this weapon beyond normal capacity, so I think I heard with Overflow you can get 74 in the magazine. Then you got Frenzy, so being in combat for an extended time increases damage, handling and reload for the weapon until you're out of combat. Well next up, let's have a look at the PvE god roll, so Arrowhead Break, Tactical Mag, Subsistence and Swashbuckler would be a good roll. So with Arrowhead Break, it greatly controls the recoil and increases the handling speed. With Tactical Mag, it increases the reload speed and slightly increases the stability, and also the magazine size too. So for subsistence, defeating targets partially reloads the magazine from reserves. And with Swashbuckler, the weapon gains increased damage from melee kills, and also kills with a weapon. Subsistence and Overflow are both good on this SMG, and it's going to help you not run out of bullets when you are in a tight spot. So Subsistence reloads the weapon after kills, and Overflow puts 74 bullets in the mag when picking up a special or heavy ammo brick. Well, the Vow of the Disciple Raid also comes with the Origin trait Soul Drinker on all weapons. This is where you gain health based on the number of hits before reloading. So all in all, there's loads of rolls for this weapon, so it's really, really good. So find the one that works for you in your playstyle, and you can't really go wrong with this SMG. It's an absolute laser beam. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get submission in Destiny 2. Well, to get submission, you have to run the Witch Queen raid, and that is called the Vow of the Disciple, and you can find that on the Throne World. Submission has the chance to drop from the first, second, and third encounters, so that's Acquisition, Caretaker, and Exhibition. To run the raid, you're going to need access to the Witch Queen expansion, and you have to find five other Guardians, and you can either get some friends together, run them with some clanmates, or you can find Guardians via LFG apps or forums, and I would recommend using the Bungie app that is available for iOS, Android, or via Bungie.net. There's also a chance at the end of the raid to trade in your Spores of Conquest for weapons, so you can collect Spores of Conquest throughout the raid as they drop from Encounters and Secret Chest too. So if you want another roll of your submission, then check out the vendor at the end of the raid. Finally, submission is craftable at the Relic near the Enclave, and you're going to need to collect five red-bordered versions of the weapon, and that means they have deep sight resin. So once you've collected these, you're going to need to level them up and unlock the pattern for submission. And once you've got the pattern, you'll be able to craft your very own version of submission. So you can get the red bordered weapons in the raid each week if you successfully complete the raid puzzle. Well, the Vow of the Disciple raid was released into Destiny 2 Witch Queen shortly after the expansion released, and early reviews of the raid are very, very positive indeed. And it can be a little bit intimidating to jump into the raid, but I would say... Go for it, as the raids are some of the best content found inside Destiny 2, and you'll definitely have a great time. There's some great encounters, amazing environments, and also some excellent lore, all which make the Destiny 2 experience even better. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of Submission, and let me know your favourite roles. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get Submission in Destiny 2, and as always, thank you so much for watching. 
For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.